Good day, folks. This is Omar Jose. Just want to ask some questions real quick. Look at this. All right. Now, remember Frankenstein. Now, remember Isis and Osiris. Isis called on the power of the of the gods to bring back Osiris from, from the dead. Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein called on the powers of the gods, i.e. Thunderbolt, Zeus, Jesus, to bring down his fire from the sky to bring to let to bring to, to bring Frankenstein back to life. Now you notice know the story between Frankenstein and Osiris that Osiris was cutting fourteen parts, but they couldn't find his penis, so it was thirteen. And so people want to degrade the thirteen tribes according to this myth, or not myth, but to this true story. And thus Frankenstein was put together by so many pieces. And I'm going to find that out later on. But if you notice electricity, what are they looking for? Check it out. You see, you have all these lightning bolts or striking tops of buildings. Precision, though. These are precision strikings. But these are some photos you might not, you know, right not relevant. Like, this is not relevant. But like that one. These are precision Hits, that's a miss. Precision. Some of them might be Photoshop, but I, you know, but that's the trickery of the, of the devil that he wants you to think that these are not real. Precision. Precision. See? Precision. When you do the chemtrails. Precision. Check out Tesla when he did the same thing. Precision. Precision. Especially that precision. He missed the bit. They missed it. It was supposed to hit here, but it hit that other one. What do they have under the ground that they're generating this power? They need a lot of electricity. And you see this right here. Seventeen bolts hit Chicago. Seventeen. We thought lightning only struck twice. Not in this case. And Rio de Janeiro hit the right hand of Zeus or so-called Jesus, whoever this guy is, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, these other precisions. And now these are actual antennas collecting lightning bolts. You see how precise they are? Let's go see if we catch another one. Okay, that's it. But let's go... Um, Let's ask Google about Frankenstein. All right. History of Frankenstein. Now, when you read this story about Frankenstein, he was used to come back to life in the exact same manner. If you will note the pictures. See, he was dead. Cut into pieces and brought back to life. See how his head is cut? Yeah, I'm quite sure y'all remember. So here's what Isis did, though. And so they're copying off of the Egyptian story on how Isis brought back Osiris from the dead. And you see how they're cutting the animals up? They're doing experiments. Frankenstein. So how many... People in these labs are actually down there. And he looks real. I don't care what nobody say. Um, what else? You know, it's it's right in front of our face. And we're not really paying attention. We count it as uh, it's not real. You know. But it is real. See? Let's get you a close-up. Frankenstein. Precision. Precision, precision. And you and, and they had to be able to control, to attract that lightning like George Washington with the key to destroy, discover electricity. Let's look at this one. Oh, they played me. Let's see if I can get it bigger. See? Don't take my word for it. Look at, check that out. 
They're telling you right in Frankenstein, the real story. They're bringing Isis and Osiris and they're bringing their demigods back, mainly Nimrod. I, be, I, trust, I, I believe they're bringing Nimrod back. That's what something tells me. I mean, I read it, I've seen it somewhere before, but uh, but I'm for certain they're bringing Nimrod back. Because there's the only reason, what's, what's the other reasons for this? See, you got the wolf people. You got Frankenstein. And you got the vampires. Vladimir, the blood drinker. You got the wolf man, the dog people. Or the Dagon, the dog people. Or the dog star. But then you got Nimrod. They're telling you right there. Monsters in the making. Don't take my word for it, folks. This is Omar Hosea. You know, if this makes sense, let me know. If it don't make sense, you know, then I won't make no more videos. Um, but Heavenly Father, we ask that you would confirm me, that you, that you may be glorified, that somebody would be able to change their minds from this world and turn them over to you. We humbly ask and pray that you protect our families and friends and those who are diligently seeking you and wanting to seek you. And Father, we ask that you would spark that light and make time, you know, putting that person's mind or heart to take a minute, 10 minutes, to listen to your still voice, listen to that you're reaching out to them. Father, we do, we just um, we say thank you for for protecting us over here, and and just just thank you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I come and name of Emmanuel. How many ask and pray? And to the prophets before me and after me, I say thank you. Peace.